ChatGPT, GPT-4 or in general OpenAI models are not connected to internet. That means the data set that they use to get trained is based on historical data available on web, maybe based on a couple of years ago data. And if you want to ask question that is relevant to the data available real time and live on internet, they cannot answer because they're simply not a search engine. They're just large language models. Now the question is, can we connect these models like ChatGPT to live real time internet data so we can start chatting with live and updated data on internet? If you want to figure it out, then let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to another OpenAI video and in this video we're gonna talk about how you can connect your OpenAI model like ChatGPT to internet. That means next time when you start asking question or any question from these models, they will be able to answer you with the most recent live updated data on internet. And the trick here is, again these models are not search engines and we cannot leverage them as a search engine but what we can do for any relevant prompt and question you're going to ask from these models we can bring search results from internet relevant to that prompt and then let chat gpt see them interpret them and start answering you in a conversational manner based on the updated data that we grab from internet Although there are some plugins you can do it as of now but what we're going to do we're going to code this process so you can include this solution that means connecting ChatGPT to internet within your own project and application that can be a piece of your steps that you do in your projects that can certainly open up a new era of opportunities and possibilities for your use cases let's check it before out before we start make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video thank you all right so we previously recorded a couple of videos that how you can start using ChatGPT, GPT-4 and all these OpenAI grade models to chat with your own data. I mean, how can I use ChatGPT on my own large data set, on my own project data set, on my own big company data set? So I will add the link of all those videos in the video description and also I will add it to the top right of this screen that will tell you how you can, let's say, use ChatGPT to start creating a chatbot that you can ask questions from your own data set because ChatGPT and these models they have not seen your data they have got trained with internet data or web data anything available online so if you have something priority just for yourself your company these models they don't have any knowledge about them so there are some tricks and work around that how you can start using them ask questions about your own data so we talked about first text data or tabular sorry un unstructured data we had some PDF files from our own company and we started to sort of ask questions against those. And then on the top, we created another video on how we can start chatting with a, let's say, SQL or like SQL database. Instead of you writing down SQL query, ask your query as a human language based conversational manner and the results will be back. So on backend, ChatGPT will create the queries for you, execute it, the line chain will execute it on your database server and then the results gonna be back without you writing any single line of code and what we're gonna talk about today how we can chat with internet data or live internet data these models again they do not have access to live internet they have been trained with historical data years ago on the internet and if something happened let's say yesterday or today these models they don't have any context about it so you cannot ask them questions about live data now we're going to focus on what's going to be the workaround that we can let using these chat gpt and open air models to ask questions relevant to the live internet data so in order to show you a little bit further what's going on when we talk about live data for example here i am opening up the guardian football live scores so the time that i'm recording these videos today is saturday april 15th and you can see, for example, Newcastle and Austin Villa match zero, 3 versus 0. That was sort of the match results. And now if I ask ChatGPT that give me the result information for that specific match, look what's going to happen. I actually have the question ready, so let me copy 
I'm pasting my chat GPT UI. What is the match result between Aston Villa and Newcastle on April 15, 2023, which is today? As an AI language, I do not have access to real-time information, so it cannot really help me with that query. That was just a simple query. I don't need to ask this question from ChatGPT. I can just open up my browser and ask it, right? But you can have more complex questions that is beyond just a search that needs live data and they cannot answer. But take this question as an example to show you that they do not have access to real data. But then what Microsoft did with Bing, and you might have already heard about it, which is called Bing Chat, they started to have these models like ChatGPT, but connected to internet. Now I can ask questions from internet using um, chat version of Bing, and we're gonna see how we can create our own like chat Bing version with our own code to use in our own project. So if I ask the same question in Bing, let's see what's gonna be the answer. So it is searching for the, the prompt that I generated and it says that, yeah, based on this date, the match, let's see, yeah, with the score z three zero. This is exactly what we just saw in Guardian website and that sort of works, right? Now here's the question, how we can create our own Bing chat in a code that I can write down my question and it will ask my question based on live data on internet using chat GPT. So if you have it implemented, automated, and coded, you can use in a variety of different type of applications and use cases you might have been thinking about it, okay? So let's do it. What I actually created, I need to first, when I ask a question, let's say for example, what is the match result between Austin Villa and Newcastle? So what will happen before Bing call ChatGPT to answer this, Bing will search for this question with search engine. It will find the references, you know, it's it's a simple search that you have seen in Google browser or in Bing. It will start searching all the references to find answers relevant to that. And then when Bing has all these references, then it will ship all these references as a prompt to ChatGPT and will ask ChatGPT that, hey, answer this user question I know you don't have access to real data, but I have brought it for you with Bing search engine. This is exactly what I'm going to code. And Bing search engine is just an example. You can use, I don't know, Google search API or whatever to bring relevant sources to ChatGPT. And now ChatGPT can see real-time live data to answer your question. So in order to do so, I need to have OpenAI API. Definitely use your Azure, Azure OpenAI key or the, the OpenAI.com API link. You don't need to have Azure OpenAI. You can have just a simple OpenAI key by yourself. Then I need to have a search engine API to start getting the references and then ask ChatGPT answer the question based on the references. So where did I grab my search engine API? This is my Bing search cognitive service I created on Azure. You just type Bing search on your Azure portal it will give you a key, API key, that you can use search engine of Bing on code to ask question and get the results back. For example, here's a test, try me. If I'm gonna search machine learning, there, we got some results for me, machine learning search result in a JSON format and both I can see the reference, some content, so on and so forth. So, if you go to the key and endpoint, you need to copy and pay, copy your both key and endpoint because we need to have them in the code. So grab them. This is, of course, confidential. Grab those. And here's the code. And I will, again, add the code notebook in the video description as well. You can check it out. It's a very simple and straightforward code. Okay, let me go back to my code. So as you can see, I'm here using Azure ML to run my Python notebook, but I'm, it's not a must. Just open up your VS Code or Jupyter Notebook on your laptop. You don't need to be on cloud. Wherever you are, you are as long as you have Python installed and pip open AI is also installed, you can run this code. So don't care about my environment, Azure ML, whatever. So I'm running the code. It is asking me now, ask a question. So let's start asking the same question that we ask from Bing Chat and ChatGPT, which is what is the re match result between Austin Villa Newcastle. We're gonna see if it really works with the chat Bing, similar to chat Bing or not. Paste. 
There you go. First, it started to grab the sources that talk about this question. As you can see, these are sources relevant to that match. And chat GPT use and all the way. Here's my question. Sorry. What is the match result of blah blah? And here is answer. Austin Villa beats Newcastle 3-0 in the match on April. So I sort of recreated something like Chad Bing, but in my code. And Chad Bing, to the best of I know, doesn't have an API. So I'm not using the Chad Bing API. I don't know even it has it. But I created such an environment, a code that can query the the data from internet based on the question and ask Chad GPT to answer based on those sources. So Chad GPT saw these sources. But let's go through go through the code and see how I implemented that actually. So at the beginning, first you need to have your OpenAI key. So I'm using an Azure OpenAI, but you can just use the OpenAI out of Azure. It doesn't matter. And you can put these credentials inside in OS, uh, operating system environment to have it secured. Also, beside OpenAI, you need to have your Bing search API key and endpoint as well. I told you how we can copy that. Again, you can use Google search engine API, whatever, as long as you can have the, the search result get back to you. And then in this function here, I am copying, actually, Azure search Bing gave me this code example in Python. I just modified it a little bit that it will start asking, finding the results of search based on your given query. So when I have this function, then I ask user, give me your question. And then I call this search query that calls Bing to get the results. And then I will get the results of Bing search parsed over this. And then when I want to ask ChatGPT, I say that use these sources, which are coming from Bing search results, to answer the user question. And then lastly, I'm just calling Azure OpenAI model, and you can see I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is chat GPT, and then it will give me the results back, as you saw. So that's it, that was a very simple code to just show you the art of possibility that how you can even bring live internet data to chat GPT in an automated and coded manner for your applications. Bing was just an example any search engine that gives you an API to grab the search results, use it, grab the search result, give it to the chat GPT, and then ask question, it will start answering to you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and that's it. Do you know what is the hardest things to listen? The whisper of your dreams, the whisper of your instincts, your human personal intuition. They do not shout. Sometimes they just whisper slowly inside you. So it's very important to listen carefully of those whispers that talks about your human personal intuition. And when you listen to that carefully, and if you see there is something that is tickling your heart, that's your destiny and that's what you're going to do for the rest of your life. That we all going to benefit from it. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action.